Councillor Joel Bird. Thank you very much, Mr Mayor, and Mazel Tov to all the new councillors who have spoken for the first time this evening. Um, a contrary, again, to what Councillor Blakely said, I did not vote for the Hoylake Golf Resort to go ahead. The motion that was put to Council that we voted on together was to refer it to scrutiny, and I moved the motion at scrutiny to uh, urge the Cabinet to recommend that they do not enter into the agreement of, of uh, £26 million pounds loan uh, as the part of the financial package. That motion was accepted unanimously, and now um, the, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. Um, it's, no, it's no foregone conclusion either way. I'd just like to say it's the height of hypocrisy for the Tories to present themselves as the defenders of the Greenbelt. It's Tory ministers, it's the Tory government that changed the planning regulations in presumption of the developer. <laughs> yeah. The, the Conservative Party it champions the free market. It wants the developers to take over our green belt to make maximum profit from it. The, the free market cannot house people. We see that in homelessness in our streets. The free market cannot transport people. We see that with the cuts in our bus services. And the, the free market cannot feed people. That's why we shamefully in our society need food banks. And it's not the Tories that are saving the green belt, quite the opposite. It's people that save the green belt. I'd like to pay tribute to the thousands of people who signed petitions, to the activists who've organised the groups, and, and the people who have sent us all emails. We do read them, we do listen to them, even though we don't always respond. And I'd like to congratulate the Cabinet for, for, for reconsidering, to looking at the evidence, to saying that maybe we'll, we need to do things differently going forward. Thank you. Okay. okay, thank you, Councillor Byrd.